Hey everyone, I got another JP idea here for you. This is a uh, 3D printed engines, and I'm talking even like 3D printed V8 engines. I'm talking about real running engines and components for engines that we could produce and share over the internet. You know, basically just by using 3D scanners and 3D printers. Now, if you don't really know, you can go online and research Jay Leno's garage. He's got a whole bunch of neat 3D scanners and printers that he uses. He's got a bunch of antique cars you can't get parts for anymore, so he just scans the old parts and makes new parts out of it. I mean, recently we just saw a real metal, 1911, you know, Colt 45, 1911, made out of metal that was 3D printed and fired and worked quite well. I think now it has over like 5,000 rounds through it. You know, so I was thinking, why can't we just take something like a classic Chevy 350, scan every part in the engine with our 3D scanner, make a CAD file, and then we can adjust the dimensions with that CAD file. So we can make something like a third scale or I mean like a 24 scale, and if we could, why not even like a 64 scale Chevy 350, try to assemble it together and make it run. We can make it out of real metal. I mean, we, we could, you know, make it out of really nice metals nowadays with this 3D printing technology, you know, 17.4 stainless, even ink canal alloys, they got everything now. So, I mean, theoretically, we could take an engine or a design of anything in particular, build it to a high quality, and we could scale it to whatever dimension we want using CAD software. It's just really neat. I mean, if you look at some of the 3D printing technologies we have nowadays, I mean, you can make something of like ABS plastic, scan it, you know, like an original item. It could be a wrench. It could be you know, like a, a piston rod assembly. Scan it, and the, the computers and the software is it's so advanced that it can actually print out the item as one piece and have individual components that can be snapped out or actually diluted out with water. And you then have a functioning, running, physically moving assembly of something, a real working part. So I think it's pretty neat. So I was thinking, why don't we go on the next step and build actually 3D printed engines and we can scale them to whatever dimension we wanted. I mean, you could build these little tiny tabletop engines to power small devices, but you could just use them as a paperweight. I don't know. Just something neat. Take care.